uh, welcome back to my channel my name is Odette uh, we are now um, starting the second week of lockdown in the UK um, we are not allowed well we are allowed but there is no work so um, I'm trying to keep myself busy uh, by doing little projects that I've been hoping to do for a while and I didn't have the time so I think this is a good opportunity to put them into practice so what I want to do today there is a lot of websites out there with beautiful rustic farmhousey type of decor what is what I like um, and I decided that I want to replicate some of those myself so when we moved to this house last summer, the gentleman that lived here before, he left us a lot of things in the cabin, what I'm very grateful. Uh, one of them was a roll of chicken wire. You probably can see very well on camera, but it's normal chicken wire. Uh, my plan is to use this as a template and the plan is to create a shape of a clock, bring it together for some concrete bases I'm creating. Look out for the video, I'm teaching how to do it. Um, I have this little bird, I bought a tin a couple of months ago in B&Q for you to have an idea. He looks a bit like this, so it does look like concrete. So I either spray with that or matte black. I haven't decided yet, but definitely won't stay gold. So the idea is I create the shape of the clock and this will be my handle. Not quite sure am I going to attach it yet, but I'm sure I will find away so let's get on with it so i want to be big enough to use in this this is something came from queen's bee house and i use it as a stand for a candle and uh, this is how i have it in the entrance hall a console table and what I want to do, it has to be big enough to fit in here, like so, okay? So, I don't think I'm going to keep it about there. And if I test again, it should get through the candle, but still sit neatly on top of the holder, all right? So, I have my size, um, the height, you just, whatever you prefer, a tall or short one, I think I'm going to stay around here, um, but first, I want to show you something, this is new chicken wire and I want to rust it. Um, I done some online search and I came up with a, a, a mix that I'm going to try. I will be doing it with you. So if it works, it works, you know how it does. If not, well, it doesn't. So I have a old, not old, but used um, jar, glass jar. So the plan is, to accelerate the process of rusting. According with Uncle Google, we have to have a mix of white vinegar, just standard one, okay? Hydrogen peroxide and table salt. So, Apparently we need four parts vinegar. Uh, I was lucky enough to have 
white vinegar at home and hydrogen peroxide. And the reason is I use them as cleaning products around the house. Um, if you guys want tips on that, please let me know and I will do a video on it. Um, white vinegar I use to clean glass and mirrors um, and to this scale. So, and many other things. So let me know. The same thing with hydrogen peroxide. I always have it at home. I buy in most pharmacies, they have them. Um, so yeah, so we need four parts. So I'm going to work it out roughly, okay? So four parts vinegar. One part hydrogen peroxide. That's about right. And I have some table salt. You only need half part table salt, so it's only a bit there. So I just mix all this and uh, Mia is annoying the neighbor yet again. So, what I'm going to do, the wire mesh that I have cut to do my little project. I'm basically just going to brush it. Okay, I'm going to use one of these little sponges, sponge brushes. Uh, I have a set of them. I think I bought in the pound shop or Poundland and in the children uh, department where you have all these things for the children to play. Uh, I, I bought them because I use them to do my little projects. So this is probably better than a brush but I'm sure you can try with a brush as well. So what I'm going to do is basically just wet all this. And uh, I would say not to worry if you miss any bits because it's all part of the rustic rough look anyway. So I'm going to leave this in here now. Um, I'm really not sure how long it's going to take, so I'm going to leave it. And uh, I will let you know how long it has taken to start to work. So this has been drying with the mix I did since yesterday. As you can see, there isn't much of a difference the brightness of new in the mesh disappeared but it hasn't rusted either because I want to do it now I'm going to use it as it is I would say if you leave it outside for a couple of weeks it probably will rust quicker than with the solution but obviously I'm not supposed to be going out to buy things for my DIY project so uh, we're going to do it as it is so the next step, I have exactly what I want. Um, so I'm going to measure. I measure the width before I cut. So that's what I want to achieve. What I need to measure now as well is the height. And I think I'm probably going to stay around here. I'm going to leave a bit more because I don't know how much I'm going to lose when I start to pinch the top, okay? So I'll cut some of the top. Okay, I 
I save all these things. I'm planning to do a bug, a bug hotel for our garden. So I may be able to use these bits. Never throw anything away. There is always something we can use them. So the next step is to bring the both ends together. And I, to be honest, I've never done this before, so I'm going to make it as I go along. Um, probably like so. Right. My hands are quite used to this rough th things I'm doing all the time. But if you're concerned, it's probably best if you use some gloves to protect your hands. Because obviously the, the wire is quite sharp. It can be quite vicious actually. I can bring it closer so that you can see. What I'm trying to do here is to just link really, link the two ends together to make it secure. Try to do it as neat as possible. starting to get the shape now what I need to do is to bring it in there's no right or wrong here it's just trying to create the shape I'm going to use this wire, there are actually two, so I'm, I'm going to use one to gather all the top bits first and then trying to attach the little bird slash handle on the top. So what I'm doing is threading the wire through the top there, okay? A bit like sewing, really. Okay, so it's too cold outside. I decide to move in inside because it's much warmer. So my little bird, so the best way I found to, to do this is to use a hot glue gun and I'll just attach in there. Uh, and I think it looks pretty cute. So the plan is, I'll just put inside like so. And that's my centerpiece. That's another little project you can do if you have the goods in the house while we are in lockdown. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, Give me the thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't done already so you don't miss any of my videos. And please stay safe. Thank you. Bye-bye.